Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Pokemon unboxing here. I've got a random spread of things that I found at Walmart that uh I mean there might be something good in here. I have no idea. I've never bought Pokemon cards this way where they came in a blister pack where it's got the cardboard on it but all of these I grabbed each one different in the sense that each one of these there are different packs inside. I've got Unbroken Bonds, Sword and Shield, and then Rebel Clash. But each one of these has a different promo card on here. So like we've got an Eevee, we have got a promo Pikachu, we have got Wooloo, which I know is a fan favorite. We've got this little thing that Glossifleur, I don't know you, but like you're really hecka cute. We have got a Gengar Ghastly Haunter triple pack. That was really cool when I saw that. We have also got a Mantine, or Mantine, I feel like people pronounce it differently. And then we've also got a Noctowl. And then on top of that, I know I had seen, I think it was Unlisted Leaf, he had done like a unboxing of these little collectible tins that you can get, but it was with newer Pokemon on them. I think, you know, like, um, oh, what are their names? Sobble, those guys, and the little Fire Bunny, Score Bunny, and that his name and I saw those in a big box but then also with them I found these two random other tins with gen 1 Pokemon on them and they are freaking adorable I mean look at that little Charmander he is so jazzy from behind and then the one that I like much better I mean they're both cute and that one also had far-fetched but this one has a little Chansey in the background and little E freaking cute. I can't help it. And these don't say what kind of cards you're getting in here. You just uh, are gonna get one of those, you know, little metallic coins that you get. Do people actually like them? I don't know. I guess if it has a Pokemon on it that I know, I'll keep it. But if not, I, I collect. I don't hoard. Okay, there's a slight difference. <laughs> But yeah, I figured I would open these up along with those blister packs because I really, I don't know what sets are inside and maybe it'll go with the sword and shield stuff or maybe it won't. You know, I probably could have whipped out my phone in the store and looked it up to see what came in here, but eh, you know, kind of a nice little surprise. Let's see, I don't know why. This is feeling extra chaotic today, this setup that I've got going. But here we have the Farfetch'd and Charmander tin. Let's see what is contained uh, inside. Oh, is it a, okay. <laughs> I thought it opened just on the one side, but it's a <sighs> double, double. Okay, I don't know who this guy is, but it's also on the, uh, in the Knocked Owl pack. And then in terms of cards, <laughs> oh, oh, this is actually very exciting for me. Um, so first off, they give you the little piece of cardboard with the artwork from the front of the tin. Oh, cute. They put, you know, a little information about Charmander on there. But we have got two packs that I'm actually really excited about. We have got Sun and Moon Burning Shadows in here. And then we have a Pokemon Evolutions, XY Evolutions, excuse me. <laughs> oh, that is extremely exciting. They're both packs that I'm really excited about. Now let's see if the adorable Eevee and Chansey, okay, I think I recognize this thing, this Pokemon, I don't know. Oh, I really don't, um, but let's see if these are the same. They are, oh my gosh. I'm so excited! So we've got another Burning Shadows, same artwork, and then we've got an XY Evolutions with Raichu on it. And then here's this adorable little card here, and the info on the back about Eevee. That is so exciting! Right? Like, I can't be the only one excited about this. So let's start it off. I think, oh, I think I know who this is on the front of this. Is it one of those Tapu, Tapu something? <laughs> Pokemon. I don't know all the new Pokemon. I really don't. I was never pretending to know them. <laughs> but I don't know if it'll go up before this or if this will go up first. But I ordered a bunch of single Burning Shadows packs to open that. Oh my god, I'm really excited to do because the artwork is so beautiful. It's a huge set. 147 cards. I have no idea 
Okay, I don't know if the white and green means anything, but if it does, there you go. Kind of exciting. I don't know the pack trick. Oh no. We'll do we'll do a safe three from the back. How about? All right. So we are starting off with a survivor. Looks very cool. We have got Lana. I don't know. Do you fish? Maybe. You look cute. Uh, we've got a tormenting spray, which is just so mean. We have got this adorable and beautiful illustration of Caterpie. I mean, come on. That's just glorious. Oh, we have got this ladybug, which is also beautiful. Just Oh, so gorgeous. We have got this little Inkay, which I really don't know this Pokemon, but I recognize it and I think it is so cute. It's like a little squid Pokemon. And then we have got Crabrawler. Okay, kind of reminds me of Larry from SpongeBob. Adorable. Is it Tynamo? Just so cute. I loved, I used to love the claymations when these first came out, the cards, way back when, and now they do these knit ones, crochet ones, and they're just fabulous. Um, po Town, that must be a town in one of the newer games that I don't know. Ah! We got a Kingdra Hollow, oh my goodness. We'll take a closer look in a second. I think I must have done the pack trick wrong. Okay, so it must be four from the back, but. I'm telling you, setup is a little hectic here right now, but guys, we got a hollow hit out of one of these little tins. I mean, I think these tins were like four or five bucks. We get two packs of cards. Um, so this is Kingdra, which is great, super majestic. And then there's a little, some people pronounce it Azumarill, some people say Azumarill. Either way, they are in the background. I love when they do little cameos on Pokemon cards nowadays. And there is the hollow. It is just very, uh, it just reminds me of, you know, when you're underwater and there's just all those light rays coming down. It's so beautiful. Oh, really gorgeous card. Centering is off left to right, but like, what do I care? I don't get my cards graded. I just feel like I have to note these things after watching so many unboxings <laughs> since everyone else notes it. But um, okay, that's very exciting. Now we move into the XY Evolutions. So I was debating so hard on whether or not I wanted to buy a whole uh, booster pack of these evolutions and then I just decided against it since, you know, it's reprints of the original base pack cards. Uh, and so I just, you know, figured I would put my money elsewhere since I have a lot of... I don't think I have a full set of all the base cards, but either way. So, uh, I don't know a card trick. Okay, so I think this is going to be a not great pack <laughs> in terms of getting a hollow, but who knows? We'll still get a rare, right? So we'll try three from the back. I don't know. We'll see how this does. Is that actually... No, okay. Uncommon. <laughs> I was gonna say, did I get a rare trainer card? I tend to have that kind of luck. But here we go. Here's a Kakuna. So nice. We've got the Slowbro Spirit Link. We have got a Diglett. Okay, no, I thought I saw a star on the bottom of that. I was like, I don't think those Spirit Links are rare cards, are they? We got a Charmander, a Psychic Energy, a Yellow Cheeks Pikachu. We got a Brock's Grit Reverse Hollow, very cool. And then we got an Electrode non hollow rare. He's not even really smiling. It's like a forced school picture, first day of school picture smiles. <laughs> but Brock's grit, very nice. I like that in the reverse hollow since it's on like, you know, that plaque makes it look metallic. So I mean, hey, pretty dang good out of that first tin, that Kingdra and then Brock's grit. I ain't complaining. And now we have got the sun and moon burning shadows from the Charmander tin. Oh, this is one of those things where I'm like, yeah, this will just be a quick little opening, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, no, this is so many packs we have here. <gasps> Look at this one. Oh, yay, 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 yay. Very excited. Sorry if some of you like hate that, but you can see the card. But okay, so the white and the green did mean something because now we just have a plain green along with a cat hair on our face for sure. Okay, so what did we determine? It was four from the back. I hope I didn't just mess that up. Okay, good. Good. 
sign. We have an energy, yes! I love that glue. I can't wait to do that Brooding Shadows unboxing opening here. <sighs> Once those get to me, I mean, I just ordered them yesterday, so it'll be, I mean, you guys, it doesn't matter. In real time, I don't have them yet. <laughs> we have got a Cedra, but I'm very excited. Bodybuilding dumbbells, how nice. How they relate to Pokemon, I'm not quite sure, but uh, we've got this Morlul. I don't know who this is, or is it, oh, cute. Is it supposed to be Morlul? Like a moral, like a, 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 a mushroom? Like, <laughs> I love you even more. You're so punny and just adorable. So cute. Oh, sad little Charmander out in the rain. Just reminds me of when Ash got his. Charmander, did I just call him Charizard? I don't know. We have got an attacking Porygon. Yes, we have got the crochet knit Meryl. I mean, come on, it is so stinking cute. I just love it. Oh, I love it. this artwork of Hoot Hoot. It's so cute, it's so simple, but like, oh, just wonderful. <gasps> cool, we got a reverse hollow dark rye. This is one of those Pokemon that I don't like know the Pokemon, but I know of the Pokemon and it's, it seems like a cool Pokemon to me anyways. And then we have got a beware, like a bear, but beware of the bear. Yeah, another pun. It's non-holographic. <laughs> But I just, I think it's a, it's a strange, strange Pokemon. Hey, it's the strong arm Pokemon. Maybe that's why we got the uh, dumbbells in there. Who knows? Anyways, on to the Blastoise evolutions. Let's see if we can get a hollow hit. Ugh, I mean, I did it. That was like the main reason why I was tempted to get a whole box of these because of those hollows, they're revamped. Okay, I opened that very poorly, but let's see. Oh, we got a white and a green, so it might be done. Uh, or else it means we got a, are they EX cards? Uh-oh, one, two, three. Mm, I think this one was three from the back, wasn't it? Okay, well, we got a trainer switch. Very nostalgic. We got a maintenance, another very nostalgic. Wow, trainer cards. <laughs> okay, we got a Charmander. Is it a sign? Are we gonna get a Charizard hollow? I don't know, maybe. We got a Magnemite, we got a Voltorb. We've got, oh, that one's really cool in the reverse hollow, that Growlithe. Oh, I love that. And then, okay, so we didn't get a hollow hollow, but we got, Okay, I mean, out of all of them, this one isn't like, I feel like there were a couple. Maybe there's like a normal Pidgeot EX, but this is a Mega Pidgeot EX. And this version of him, he's just got like the Dragon Ball Z hair, which I don't really understand, but Pidgeot is one of my favorite Pokemon. And this one actually, eh, nope, top to bottom is definitely off on the back there, but very cool. I just, I love how they do the Japanese text here of the English attack. I mean, technically we should reverse that how it was originally, um, but Mahasaikuron, Mach Cyclone. I've never understood, maybe we just, we probably pronounce it wrong in America, Mach, because you'd think it would then be Maku instead of Maha. Anyways, we got this card and um, very cool. <laughs> So also, like amazing, these tins, what? This reverse Darkrai, the reverse Growlithe, that Mega Pidgeot EX, out of one of these little tins. Cause I feel like so many people say that these little tins are just like, you know, garbage. They put all the garbage packs that no one wants in there. Apparently not. <laughs> I mean, at least I feel like I did very well. <sighs> and now, Fufta, we're just getting started. Hope you guys are ready for a long video. Um, so now let's get into these blister packs. Do you guys care that these videos are longer? I hope not. Definitely, you can let me know, but I personally like longer videos, so I can just have them on, you know, in the background when I'm doing dishes and that sort of a thing, and then I don't have to worry about my hands being wet, having to click on, you know, go to the next video or whatever but so we got one of these little chips again this knocked owl I tried to find ones <laughs> where the hollow had the swirl but I was only able to find that on the EV card I believe but still this knocked owl I mean it's really cool can you imagine a 90 pound owl can owls get that big in real life I don't know but it's a very majestic looking card and I really like it the promo in here it looks like you get a extra card so if anyone wants to 
go for that. You can go for that. I don't know that I have watched anyone unbox any Rebel Clash before. Maybe it means these are really garbage packs, but uh, you know, you don't know until you try, so we will find out together. I mean, if nothing else, I just really wanted the promo cards out of these. <laughs> I was about to bend the card just to get this stupid little Pokemon that I don't even know who you are. Who is that? Let me know. Comments down below. What? But again, we have got little Mantine, Mantine. Oh, and there's a little, oh no, that's the one that's attached to him. I thought they had put in, you know, a little Remoraid cameo, but that's just the one that's attached to him. Just a beautiful, beautiful artwork. I always thought he was such a cute Pokemon. And then green and white. Ba bam for whoever wants that. Hopefully no one is being too greedy with these promo codes. Uh, you know, just take one or two at a time, like let other people enjoy them. But at the same time, I mean, I don't even know that anyone is gonna use them. <laughs> so maybe, hey, maybe you're the only one that wants them. And in which case, Congrats, have them all, enjoy. As I say in other videos, let me know what you get. So uh, we've got this guy again, whoever that is. Oh. But we have these wonderful cards. All of the, oh, oh, I just love that art. Oh, oh, that ghastly, look at that. The artwork on that is beautiful. I love how pastel. It is just gorgeous. And then we've got Haunter here, much more simplistic artwork, but still super cool looking. And then the Gengar, this hollow is kind of a straight up and down stripe hollow. I don't know, but there you go. Really cool. Like, look at those three together. I guess I'll have to go sideways, but like, they look so good. And the rest of these that had, uh, they were all promo cards, but these are all, they must just be from the set, which is totally fine by me. I've also got promo code, enjoy. So those are Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. Now we have, must have just been the base set Sword and Shield. Base set Sword and Shield. Red leather, yellow leather. Ugh. Pokemon, so stinking cute. Ooh, we've got so many print lines on this that I guess I didn't notice <laughs> when I was buying these, but I do believe there were only a couple of these cards left anyways, but that's okay. I just think that Pokemon is adorable. I don't know who it is, but I like it. I like you a lot. Another code, enjoy. Ooh, we've got Lapras on that one, as well as this thing. I think I've I, I know who that Pokemon is, but I can't think of their name off the top of my head. Does it start with an L? Either way. Okay, so now we've got a little Wooloo. This one's also got quite the amount of print lines on it, but hey, I mean, I don't really care about that sort of a thing, but something to note. There you go, very cute. We've also got our card there, very nice, maybe. <laughs> And once again, we have that Pokemon. And then last but not least, we've got these couple of Unbroken Bonds packs, which I do know these. I do know that I enjoy the set of cards that came with, but this Pikachu, it's kind of like a dull. I don't know, the artwork on there is kind of like dulled out and so is the hollow. I don't even know that the hollow is picking up on camera very well, if at all. But, I mean, it's still a cute little Pikachu. Boom pow, there's the card, or the code. And these ones come with a Pokemon that I actually know who's on the coin. Hey, it looks like I was just gonna say normal executor, but with that neckline, I'm thinking that's an Alolan executor. And now, final one here, we've got the Eevee. <laughs> and as I said, I hunt it down. This was the only Eevee that I saw that had a swirl. It's above Eevee's ear, if you can see that there in the hollow. Very nice. Swirls are not essential for me, but I do really like them in the hollow. And there's your code. Whew, duh. Are you guys ready? Ready to finally get into these card packs? I know I am. So we're gonna start out with the Sword and Shield packs, the Rebel Clash. I'm saving the best for me for last anyways, like I said, because I actually know I like the set of cards with, uh, from um, Broken Bonds. Like, I don't, what are you? Uh, ew. Okay, so it looks like the white and green matters on this set. There's your code card. I don't know, should we try three? 
maybe we, it should be four. I'm gonna do four. Let's see. Okay, good. Energy. It's a good sign that I think I'm probably correct. We've got a Pelipper. Very cool. I like that artwork. Oh, a Pelosand? Palosand? The Sandcastle Pokemon? Oh, we've got a Buff Milo. Kind of reminds me of Meteo uh, from My Hero Academia. I think we've got that Impidimp. I kind of like saying his name, but ugh, I don't like it. Uh, we've got a Claymation, but I actually really don't like this Pokemon. Like, I recognize it, and something about it I just really don't like. <laughs> Ooh, I kind of like that one. Is it a Phantom Tree Stump? Phantom? So strange, but like kind of cute. We've got a Dreepy. I don't know what that is, but okay. We have got, ooh, a Galarian Farfetch'd. You look angry, but kind of cool. I, I approve. And then we have got a Charger Bug. I don't know what that is, <laughs> but okay, there's the Reverse Hollow. And then don't know who you are, but you're cute, so I like you. You are Al... Al Creamy? The cream Pokemon. And you just look like a little dollop, bunch of dollops of whipped cream, strawberry shortcake cutie. Oh yes, oh yes. I approve. Now, next pack. Let's see who we get. Let's see how we do. If we get any luckier in terms of getting a hollow or whatever. Ooh, oh, oh, that's interesting. Sorry if you guys have been a little off that whole time. Um, I know what regular Corsola looks like, but this Galarian Corsola, so depressing. I mean, that is not what Coral is supposed to look like. Ooh. <laughs> I thought the attack was Cursed Dump. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we are not so lucky. It looks like this is a Cursed Dump of a pack. But there we go. What, it was four from the back, right? You would think, as an adult, ew, I don't like you either. Uh, you'd think I would have a better memory, but nope, 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 certainly don't. Okay, and now, yay, we got the cute little candle Pokemon. And there's a few of them in there, very cute. We've got a Shinx, is that how you pronounce it? A Roly Coley. Don't know you. What are you, an Applin? like an apple Pokemon? <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> oh, look at you. A little chubby squirrel guy. Squofet? Oh. Oh. Oh no. What are the freaking odds? <sighs> All right. Well, going in for the last Rebel Clash here. Yeah, I don't know that I care about this set very much, at least based on these packs. Maybe this is why I haven't seen anyone opening them on YouTube here. Maybe do people like this new gen of Pokemon? I don't know. I clearly, ooh, saved the best for last, I guess. But I don't feel like I hear, obviously I heard, you know, all the hype people were excited about all these new Pokemon and the new games and whatnot. But, uh, all right, so the candle turns into a lamp. I was unaware. Doesn't it turn into a chandelier eventually? Uh, but yeah, I don't feel like I've really heard people other than that Wooloo. Either way. Uh, Snover? Oh, not too. How do you do? Oh, I know a lot of people hate Trubbish, but like, I think he's cute. <laughs> uh, we've got a Pidove. We've got an Aerocuda. And then... Okay, we have got a Boltund V. I don't know you. I mean, I, I recognize you, because it reminded me, wasn't there a Disney movie that came out of a dog named Bolt, and it looked like this? Like, that's what it always makes me think of. But I mean, whatever, okay. So that was the, that was the Clash of Rebels. Rebel Clash. Yeah, not my favorite. Not my favorite, just because mainly I have no idea who these Pokemon are. <laughs> but either way, I see a good one coming out of Sword and Shield base set. Very exciting. Um, just a normal green card. Okay, well, should we do four from the back again? Let's go for it. Go for it? Uh, four from the back? Okay, well. 
B Sharp? I think I've seen you before. Uh, Salazzle, are you like a jazz dance instructor lizard? Salamander? That's a choice. Okay. Uh, we've got Doug Trio looking at a very surprised Doug Trio. We've got an adorable little Chin Chow. Uh, we have got Sly. Sizz Sizzlipede. Wow, I can read. <sighs> Sometimes. Um, we've got a very cute Galarian Zigzagoon. Normally it's brown, right? And that one's black and white. Ah! Okay, I always thought it was pronounced Muna, but I feel like people here on YouTube call her or him Muna. I don't know, but I think it's really cute, the Pokemon. And uh, <sighs> I want to say all the curse words. So cute in that knit form. Oh, oh, you're like a little snow worm, snom. Is that how you pronounce it? We've got a reverse sobble. I'm glad you're not crying. And we've got a cloister. Very cool artwork on that cloister. Okay, so I'm not hating the sword and shield packs. Maybe it was just the rebel clash that really wasn't doing it for me. So, now we will crack on into Lapras. We will see if that's a good sign that I actually know that, oh my, I am just demolishing this pack. Sorry. Oh my God, it just doesn't get any better. Ooh, exciting times. We got a white and green card. Okay, so it's four from the back. One, two, three, four. Boop, yay, counting. And we've got another psychic energy, a metal saucer great. A Rotom bike. Isn't that a Pokemon? Yes. <laughs> Keith. Um, a big charm. <laughs> okay. Uh, we've got a Scorupi with a little diglet in the background. I think I know this Pokemon. It evolves into something that looks like that, right? <laughs> wow, Cassie. Very good. Um, a Clobopus. <laughs> gonna, gonna punch someone. Clobber him. I kind of like him. <laughs> very cute. Oh, we've got a very cute Wooloo card. Oh, I almost like that better than the promo. Very cute. Oh, um, we've got a sad crying little Sobble. Right after I said I'm glad you're not crying. In the other pack, um, we've got a Pincherin, Pincher Chin. You know, y'all won't believe me when I say I am literate and can read. <laughs> but that guy's cute. A little urchin Pokemon. Um, we've got, that must be the new professor, Professor Magnolia. I don't know you. But then, oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> we got the reverse hollow and then the hollow of her. I mean, whatever. Okay, well. I did enjoy those packs more than the Rebel Clash, but now the ones that I really am gonna enjoy, these Unbroken Bonds. I hope I'm not making that up in my head. I think it was the Unbroken Bonds that I was like, ooh, those are some good packs, some good collection of cards. I think so. Either way, I guess we'll find out together here. What better way to find out than on camera? Okay, Cassie, come on, you can open up a pack. You can do it, good girl. <sighs> Okay, we got a green and a white. Hey -o. Is this one gonna be four from the back? Hope so. If not, my apologies. All right, got an energy card. Triple acceleration energy. A fairy charm ability. Oh, we've got a fight and tie rogue. Looks like up in the bleachers or something somewhere. We have got a Porygon. We have got a really cute little Inkay. Oh, so cute. Like, I think you're a squid, right? But yet, you're never in the water, I don't feel like. You're always in the trees. Oh, adorable Caterpie. I just want to see the revolving Pokemon. Okay, so it's not the squid Pokemon, either way. Um, that Caterpie artwork is fabulous. Oh, so is that Clefairy. Oh, so is that Poliwag. Yes, the Unbroken Bonds. Oh, yes! Look at that Togekiss for the reverse hole. Oh, that is wonderful! <gasps> Ooh! Okay, so the Unbroken Bonds. I, I guess that makes sense based on the uh, outside pack artwork. These have tag teams in them sometimes. So we've got a Marshadow and Machamp GX 
tag team card. So cool. I don't know Marshadow, but it looks really cute. I do know Machamp and the artwork is just, sorry. <laughs> The artwork is really nice on that. My first ever tag team card. Oh, how exciting. That was an amazing pack. Like, so extremely happy with that. I really hope that this next one, or this last pack, is just as good. Because that one would have been a great one to end on. And if this is just, like, nothing but disappointment... <laughs> Well, I guess it's gonna be nothing but disappointment. Time will tell. Okay, so I just annihilated that pack. Okay, okay, yep, well, we've got a green card. <laughs> I should have saved the other one for last. I mean, I couldn't have known, but okay. So we've got a water energy. Cute, we've got a Porygon 2 in like a space themed hallway bedroom. I don't know, but that's so cute. A martial arts dojo. A fairy charm electric, a cute little Riolu, we've got a Porygon, we've got another cute little Inke, adorable Caterpie, adorable Clefairy again, oh, we've got the reverse hollow of that Porygon too, very cute, and, ah, I'm not sad, are you sad? I'm not sad, that Butterfree is beautiful! Butterfree, more like beautifree. <laughs> I know there's a beautifly, but like, go with me on this, people. That is gorgeous. Oh, I wonder if that comes in a hollow form. That would be really pretty, but I mean, that's really pretty on its own, so. Wow, what a long opening. It was not like 40 minutes, probably. Recap time. <laughs> All right, super speed round of cards that are my faves. Just really cutie patooties, couple of weirdos, and just overall a lot of good stuff. I mean, as I said, I am the happiest with that last pack, and then also the tins from before. There's a double rare, but I mean this last one, mm -mm -mm -mm, so many good cute, adorable, wonderful hits there. Oh, that butterfree. And then in terms of hollows that we got, uh, you know, those two aren't very exciting for me, but these two that I got, that toga kiss I realized was a reverse hollow rare, so that's cool. And then that tag team, very cool. And I mean, considering it came out of a little blister pack, like that's pretty good. And then of course we got all these hollow promos as well that are all really nice looking. So, you know, uh, sorry if you don't enjoy <laughs> these long videos, but uh, I, I do. So hopefully some of you all did too. Certainly let me know if, you know, how do you feel about all these cards, which collections and which cards were your favorite. Let me know in those comments down below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate Appreciate it and if you're new here hey hi hello how are you you can go ahead and subscribe you can tippity tap on that notification bell down below become a member of my casserole family be it here on this channel or my main channel I would love to have you here there and everywhere and as always I just hope you guys are all doing well and until next time just stay well until then bye